as a fishing tool, kayaks allow us to access uh, fishing way and above what you're able to get from a boat. You know, the biggest and most obvious is the stealth factor. We can sneak right up to schools of fish on the water and really target those fish with lures, baits, live baits, whatever it takes to chase our quarry. Fishing from kayaks is a sport that's grown phenomenally over the last few years. Part of the reason for it is just how effective they are. Um, part of the reason is their, their cost and economy. Um, and let's face it, they're just simply fun. We can launch the kayaks anywhere we like. Uh, if you can walk to the water, then you can get that vessel afloat and away. So no boat ramps required, you know, no hard sand beaches required. So again, that makes that, uh, that accessing remote locations and the like very, very much easier. We're only talking, for the most part, 30 kilos that you're lifting onto your roof rack. So of course, then you're not dealing with trailers and, and extra gear that needs to be maintained and looked after. So something else that we can do from kayaks is mother shipping. Literally, this is throwing the kayaks on deck on a bigger boat, and we can enhance that go everywhere aspect of taking these kayaks further than anyone is prepared to paddle. So we're talking offshore islands, we're talking uh, simply going so far from coast you can't actually see land. For us as kayakers, we can then launch and sneak right in close. And literally, some of the fishing that we do, we put the kayak into the surge zone on the rocks and fish outwards. The surge zone is that area of water where land-based guys obviously can't cast out to and keep their baits in position. And of course, the boaties are not wanting to sort of put their craft at risk, if you like, get too close to those rocks. And the kayak as a platform is incredibly stable sitting on the water. So we'll lift and rise and drop back down as the water surges around the rocks. And we are right there where the fish are. So of course we can present soft baits, cast lures, uh, cast natural baits, in a way that neither the boaties nor the land-based anglers can access. Part of what makes kayak fishing so cool is working with lures. It's really a, a, a match made in heaven, a, a hand in glove type scenario. What we do is we use the stealth of kayaks, the, the small footprint that they have on the water, to put us exactly where we need to be to present lures for best effect. Be it jigging, be it casting, soft baiting, whatever it might be, kayaks give us that manoeuvrability and that ability to precisely locate ourselves uh, and then maximise the performance of the lure in the water. And that what, that's what makes them so successful for targeting fish. Woo! Yeah! What we came here to do? A very popular way of adding to your kayak is the use of fish finders. And let's face it, as the technologies become more affordable, they've really become an essential fishing tool at all levels. From a kayak, we can actually target individual fish. We can literally pick out the big fish, the big predators that are hunting around a school and use the maneuverability of the kayak to place ourselves exactly where we need to be to get that bait or lure to work with most effect. You know, you can get into kayak fishing as a sport for anything between, say, $1,000 or $8,000. The other thing is, is of course, they cost nothing to run. You know, a hamburger or a wheat bix for breakfast really is not much at all. And there's, you know, you don't have that $200 fuel bill 
to, to simply put you on the water. And of course, you don't have all of the maintenance costs either. Simply hose it down when you finish the trip. Um, bit of detergent if you need it because you've brought a few fish with you. But that's it. The fact that the kayaks allow us to just quietly move through the, the wildness and the wilderness is such an appealing thing. And of course, it's a great way of getting exercise, fresh air, and just having a huge amount of fun while you're out there on the water.